Question number 221. You are developing a text processing solution. You develop the following method. You call the method by using the following code. Get underscore key underscore phrases. Text underscore analytics underscore client. The cat sat on the mat. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The output will contain the following words. The cat sat on and mat. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is option B, no. The function is designed to extract key phrases only and here in the option we have the, on, which are not the key phrase but the general words. Therefore, it is unlikely it includes the and on. The output might include cat and mat depending on how exactly the function is implemented. Question number 222. You are developing a text processing solution. You develop the following method. You call the method by using the following code. Get underscore key underscore phrases. Text underscore analytics underscore client. The cat sat on the mat. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The output will contain the confidence level for key phrases. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is option B, no. In the function defined, we are not stating anywhere specifically to print the confidence level. If you want to extract the confidence level, we can utilize named entity recognition. Question number 223. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure Open AI resource named AI1. You plan to develop a console app that will answer user questions. You need to call AI1 and output the result to the console. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose for drop down 1? Option A get completion. Option B get embeddings. Option C get image generations. The correct answer is option A get completions. This method is used to get a completion response from the OpenAI model for a given prompt. In this case, the prompt is what is Microsoft Azure? And you want the model to generate a text response to this question. Question number 224. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure Open AI resource named AI1. You plan to develop a console app that will answer user questions. You need to call AI1 and output the result to the console. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose for drop down to? Option A, Option B, Option C. The correct answer is Option A. This property accesses the generated text response from the OpenAI model. 
This is what you need to print to the console to display the answer to the user's question. Question number 225. You have an Azure subscription. You need to deploy an Azure AI document intelligence resource. You complete the following Azure Resource Manager ARM template. Which value should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A Microsoft.Cognitive Search. Option B Microsoft.Cognitive Services. Option C Microsoft.Machine Learning. Option D Microsoft.Machine Learning Services. The correct answer is option B, Microsoft.Cognitive Services. Azure AI Document Intelligence, formerly known as Form Recognizer, is part of the Cognitive Services suite. The correct resource type for deploying a document intelligence resource in an ARM template is Microsoft.Cognitive Services or accounts. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 226. You have an Azure subscription. You need to deploy an Azure AI Document Intelligence resource. You complete the following Azure Resource Manager ARM template. Which value should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A AI Builder. Option B Cognitive Search. Option C Form Recognizer Option D Open AI The correct answer is Option C Form Recognizer Azure AI Document Intelligence formerly known as Form Recognizer is the correct kind value to use for deploying a document intelligence resource. This kind specifies that the resource being deployed is a form recognizer. Question number 227. You build a chatbot that uses the Azure OpenAI GPT 3.5 model. You need to improve the quality of the responses from the chatbot. The solution must minimize development effort. What are two ways to achieve the goal? Option A. Fine tune the model. Option B. Provide grounding content. Option C. Add sample request or response pairs. Option D. Retrain the language model by using your own data. Option E. Train a custom large language model LLM. The correct answers are Option A. Fine tune the model. Option B. Provide grounding content. Fine tuning tailors the model to your domain specific needs improving response accuracy while grounding provides relevant context during inference enhancing answer relevance both approaches improve quality with minimal coding and without needing to train a new model from scratch question number 228 you have a monitoring solution that uses the Azure AI Anomaly Detector service. 
you provision a server named server1 that has intermittent internet access. You need to deploy the Azure AI anomaly detector to server1. Which four actions should you perform in sequence? 1. Query the prediction endpoint on server1. 2. From server1, run the docker push command. 3. Install the docker engine on server1. 4. Query the prediction endpoint of the Azure AI anomaly detector in Azure. 5. From server1, run the docker run command. 6. From server1, run the docker pull command. Option A, 6, 5, 3, 1. Option B, 1, 5, 3, 6. Option C, 6, 3, 5, 1. Option D, 3, 6, 5, 1. The correct answer is option D, 3, 6, 5, 1. First, install Docker Engine on Server 1 to support containerized deployment. Next, pull the anomaly detector container image using Docker Pool. Then, run the container with Docker Run to start the service locally. Finally, query the local prediction endpoint on Server 1 for anomaly detection without relying on continuous internet access. Question number 229. You are building an app named App1 that will use Azure AI Document Intelligence to extract the following data from scanned documents. Shipping address, billing address, customer ID, amount due, due date, total tax, subtotal. You need to identify which model to use for app 1. The solution must minimize development effort. Which model should you choose? Option A, custom extraction model. Option B, contract. Option C, invoice. Option D, general document. The correct answer is option C, invoice. The pre-built invoice model in Azure AI document intelligence is specifically designed to extract key fields such as shipping address, billing address, customer ID, amount due, due date, total tax, and subtotal from invoices. It minimizes development effort since you don't need to train a custom model for these common fields. Question number 230. You have a file share that contains 5000 images of scanned invoices. You need to analyze the images. The solution must extract the following data. Invoice items, sales amount, customer details. What should you use? Option A. Azure Custom Vision Option B Azure AI Vision Option C Azure AI Immersive Reader Option D Azure AI Document Intelligence The correct answer is Option D Azure AI Document Intelligence Azure AI Document Intelligence, formerly Form Recognizer, is designed to extract 
structured data such as invoice items, sales amount, and customer details from scanned documents, including invoices. It offers pre-built models specifically for invoices, minimizing development effort and maximizing accuracy.